Diana, very good evening, everybody. You know, Powers Lake has some of the most loyal fans in our state, and they are happy tonight. Their boys' basketball team has taken them to Bismarck and the state beat. Of course, two years ago, they hadn't been there in 70 years. Now they go again. Wonderful. A 77-58 win over Kenmere. Uh, Bo Bells, they shot down the Honkers. Tyson Ingot, 26 points. Senior Athlete of the Year for Region 8, and he's going to be a Teton next year. So we got a Teton at the B. That's great. Jack Zimmer had a tremendous game, 37 points for the Honkers in a losing cause. So Powers Lake BC moves on. We're very happy for them and their fans, 77-58. to 58. There will be nobody left in Powers Lake on Thursday of next week. Stanley beat Divide County 62-53. Leighton Cracklaw, 20 points. A good Divide co County team could not quite uh, catch those Blue Jays, so they fall 62-53. Well, the great day of hoops continued here in the Mondack region. Uh, we begin it with the Super A in Fargo, where the defending state champs Minot drew Red River in round one. Here we go. Red River jumped out in front early. The hot hands of Zach Kraft. Five first half threes, he was ready to go. Derek Deset continued to show folks, man, I should be Mr. Basketball. Works inside, spins. Kyle fans know all about him, what a pain in the neck. Up and in, then more Deset. Defense lets off, he's gonna step down and knock it down. He had 37 points. Magi continue in hot pursuit. Grayson Schaefer is going to knock it down from the wing, but they fall 81 to 80. They failed to pick up Kraft with about three seconds to go. He drove and scored and won. So yes, 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 we will have a new state champion just like that. Why not? Well, they won't win a state title, that's for sure. Davies blew out Jamestown 64-46. Century, no problems with Fargo Shanley, 77-45. And in a close one, North beats Legacy 82-80. In the girls' division, Century trying to bounce back from that loss to Minot in the WDA title game against Red River. Let's see how things went for the defending champs. Century, uh, well, they got things going. Zoe Austin is going to come down and gets it to go. Pats. Pushing the pace, Logan Nisley is a Miss Basketball finalist. She's going to Nebraska, back from that injury, up and in, making it look so smooth. Lee Timberman says she's the best catching shooter in the state. A long three there, that goes. They win 69-64, to but Devils Lake gave them a tough ball game. All righty, West Fargo Cheyenne got legacy, blew them out 70-57. to the Pats get Davies, 69-64. And how about this? Red River beat Minot's girls, 50-43. 50-43, Red River gets Minot. So both Minot teams won it last year. Uh, state titles for both. This year they both get beat in the first round. So there you go, you never know. West Fargo gets Bismarck, 65-59. Over in the great state of Montana, State A boys, Glendive falls to Dillon, 57-46. Uh, Butte Central beat Columbia Falls, 53-44. Frenchtown over Billings Central, 52-41. And Lewistown with the lead at the half over Hamilton, 34-27. State A girls, Harden beat Dillon, 70-57. Laurel over Frenchtown, 47-44. And Billings Central wins big over, uh, check that, Haver over Browning, final there, 73-53, to and uh, Hamilton fell badly to Billings Central uh, by a tally there of 71-49. State B boys, Missoula Loyola, 83, Large Grass, 56. Wolf Point comes up with a nice one. They just won a, a play-in game, so good for them. They're rolling. They beat Columbus, 65-62. Malta beats Lame Duck, 68-49, and Big Fork over Red Lodge, 55-48. B Girls, uh, Big Fork beats Bake, 52-38. Huntley Project over Wolf Point, 70-28. Malta over Columbus, 45-38. And Big Timber with the lead, 29-21. 29-21. State B Boys. Manhattan Christian 54, Broadview Lavina 45, Belt gets Fairview 53-46, Broadus over Lone Peak 66-38,
and Big Sandy over Luster Christian, 62-47. C, Plentywood beats Ekalaka, 63-25. Chinook got Roberts, 76-61. Twin Bridges in the semifinals gets Roy Winifred, 44-42. And Manhattan Christian trailing Seika Whitewater Hinsdale, 34 to 15. UND jumps into the world of postseason play tomorrow night in Omaha against the Mavs. They swept them last weekend. They hope to do it again. Maybe, you know, because they had such a slow start, maybe they can get her going uh, here in the postseason. Let's hope so. Let's take a timeout.